Onocardiography. Changes in heart sounds and heart rate during breathing and after exercise. In this lesson, you will record the sounds of the heart cycle, registering the so-called phonocardiogram, while registering the second lead of the electrocardiogram. You will compare and correlate electrical events in the cardiac cycle with mechanical events during systole and diastole. Experimental Objectives Listen to human heart sounds and describe them qualitatively in terms of intensity or volume and duration. Correlate human heart sounds that are associated with the opening and closing of heart valves during the cardiac cycle, ventricular systole and diastole. Determine the nature of changes in the relationship between electrical and mechanical events of the cardiac cycle with an increase in heart rate. Technique of the experiment. Setting. Turn on the computer. Make sure that Biopac MP30 is turned off. Turn on the equipment as follows. The stethoscope is connected to channel 1, the lead electrodes, to channel 2. Turn on Biopac MP30. Next, select the patient, registrar and supervisor in your laboratory group. Place three electrodes on the patient. One on the right forearm, just above the wrist. One on the inside of the right leg just above the ankle. One on the inside of the left leg, just above the ankle. Insert the lead electrode into the electrodes, paying attention to the color. Right forearm, wide electrode, right leg, black, ground, left leg, red electrode. Insert a small flash drive into the computer. Start the Biopac Student Laboratory Program BSL 3.7. Select Lesson 17. Enter Group Number. Patient Surname. Click OK and set up procedure. Technique of the experiment. Calibration. Check the electrodes, make sure the patient is relaxed. Click on the Calibrate icon located in the upper left corner of the setup window to start the calibration. The supervisor should lightly tap twice on the diaphragm of the stethoscope. The calibration procedure will stop automatically after 8 seconds. Registration in order to obtain reliable data, you should. Apply the electrodes at least 5 minutes before the start of registration. The patient's clothes should not come into contact with the electrodes. The patient should relax and not move his right hand. The patient should be silent for the course of listening to tones and their registration. The supervisor should hold the diaphragm of the stethoscope with moderate and constant pressure. Consider the position of the best listening to heart sounds. The mitral valve is heard at the apex of the heart, in the apical impulse, that is, in the fifth intercostal space medially by one centimeter from the left midclavicular line. The aortic valve is heard in the second intercostal space to the right of the sternum. The pulmonary valve is heard in the second intercostal space to the left of the sternum. The tricuspid valve is heard at the end of the sternum on the right, at the level of 5-6 costal cartilages, or at the junction of the end of the body of the sternum with the xiphoid process on the right. It is diagnostically valuable to listen to the heart in the so-called fifth auscultatory point, Bakken's point, located in the third intercostal space on the left at the edge of the sternum between the place of attachment of three and four costal cartilages to it. The position of Bakken's point can be most accurately determined as follows. It is necessary to connect the sternal end of the two right intercostal space with a line with the apex of the heart. The place of intersection of the left edge of the sternum with this line will be the desired fifth auscultatory point. Bakken's point. Bakken was the first to point out that at this point aortic murmurs are best heard, in particular diastolic murmurs in aortic insufficiency. Segment 1. At rest. 
the leader places the stethoscope in a position where the heart sounds are better heard. The recorder clicks record to start recording. The at rest marker will be set automatically. The patient must breathe calmly for 20 seconds. After the elapsed time, the recorder asks the patient to take a slow deep breath, then hold the breath for one second and exhale slowly. At the beginning of inhalation and exhalation, the recorder sets the marker by pressing F9. The recorder clicks pause after exhalation is completed. Segment 2. After exercise. Disconnect the cables from each electrode. The patient should exercise to increase the heart rate 20-30 squats or jogging in place for 20 seconds. Reconnect the lead cables to the electrodes according to color. The leader places the stethoscope in the same places as in the first segment. The registrar clicks resume to proceed with the registration. The marker recording patient after exercise will be set automatically. Upon completion of registration, the recorder clicks Suspend. Click Done. And confirm that registration is complete. Copy the file to a USB flash drive. Remove the flash card. Further data analysis is carried out in the classroom. Data analysis. Open review save data. And select the correct file. Adjust the sections in this way. Section PP shows the difference between the maximum and minimum value of the amplitude in the sampled area. Delta time is the difference in time between the end and the beginning of the sampled area. Beats per minute calculates the difference in time between the first and the last selected points and then divides the result by 60 seconds. Zoom into the area where the patient was breathing normally before starting a deep breath. Adjust the field for a better view. Using the iRay cursor, select an area from one R wave to the next. Pay attention to the measurement of heart rate. Enter the data in the table. Using the iRay cursor, select an area from one R wave to the next. Pay attention to the measurement of heart rate. Enter the data in the table. Using the cursor of the iRay, select the area from the beginning of one R wave to the first peak of the second heart tone. Pay attention to the delta time. Enter the data into the table. Using the iRay cursor, select an area from the beginning of the second heartbeat to the beginning of the first tone of the next cycle. 
Pay attention to the delta time. Enter the data in table. Using the cursor of the eye ray, select the area that covers the first heart tone. Pay attention to the solution of the measurement. Enter the data into the table. Using the eye ray cursor, select the area that covers the second heart tone. Pay attention to the solution of the measurement. Enter the data in the table. By analogy, fill in the column. Inhale. Exhale. And segment 2. After work. Data analysis. Completed work. Shut down your work.